Happy quarantine, you two. Welcome back to The Bearded Gentleman. I'm here this evening with my friend George. Uh, we got a couple cigars that we're going to go, we're going to smoke. We'll, we'll give you, you know, a little amateur review of each of them. Um, but really, we're just going to be talking about probably what's going on in the world right now and just all kinds of different stuff. So y'all stay along, stay tuned. It'll probably be interesting and you might get a laugh or two out of it. Um, this evening I'm smoking the Perdomo Factory Tour Blend. Uh, it's supposed to be a full body cigar even though it is a lighter wrapper. I'll give you a little close up of the cigars um, and overlay it as we're, as we're telling you what we're smoking. So that's what I got tonight is the Perdomo Factory Tour Blend. What you got George? I will be smoking a Chillin' Moose. It's a nice cigar around Three, three fifty, four dollars for a stick. Um, normally, a little bigger ring than I would uh, normally smoke. Not that big into big ring sizes. My uh, normal go-to, as Cody would know, is a uh, a Toro Fuente or a uh, would be a Rocky Patel. Is my uh, those are my two go-to sticks when I when I choose to pertain in this hobby. So George actually is the one who introduced me to cigar smoking. So, um, and from that the channel stems. So, you have him to thank for that. Um, and we're each pairing these cigars with Jack and Coke, just a classic cocktail of Jack and Coke with a little bit of ice. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get them cut, lit, and start on puffing. Cody gets his lit up. I'll talk a little bit if he lets me. Um, I feel that uh, in college, you know, kind of smoking on a budget if you're into this kind of sort of hobby, which uh, as Cody's mentioned, I kind of got him going. Uh, my dad got me into it. And when you're in college, smoking on a budget is a very important thing. So pairing a cigar with a good whiskey or beer is very, you know, difficult because you want to get the high end of the stuff. But I feel that a Jack and Coke goes well with almost any smoke. Yeah, I, th I think that as well. Um, so, the pre-draw here on this Perdomo is, it's good. It's got a lot of that full body tobacco flavor, which is kind of surprising um, with this light wrapper that it has. Uh, definitely would not call this a Maduro wrapper. Um, it's almost more of like a... Connecticut wrapper, I guess. Very, very light. Like a, like, very light milk chocolate is the best way to describe the color, I guess. Very nice, though. And I'm smoking it in Torpedo, as some of y'all know, that that is my favorite. Off the draw, very, uh, nice guillotine cut I did myself. I'm not a big fan of guillotining, uh, not guillotine, I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess it would be guillotine. Yep of uh, guillotine cutting when you have a nice cap. It was a very nice cap on the end of the cigar. But uh, off the draw, it, it, it tastes like it's going to be a very nice, mild uh, stick, which is really my go-to. Um, as I've said before, it's a little bit bigger of the gauge size than I, I would prefer to smoke, but we'll give it a shot once Cody's done lighting his. Um, Cody usually gives me some, 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 you know, it's makes hot. Caribbean. Yeah, <laughs> it makes fun of me a couple times, but like I said, I don't like using a guillotine on most of my sticks. I'm not a big hole punch. I'll, I'll give away my secret. <laughs> he laughs at me for this. But my secret is a meat thermometer. Deep the meat thermometer at the top of the cap, right through, decent size hole to where you can draw. You can wiggle it around. That way, uh, you don't get the whole end so and I'm more of a faster smoker so you'll see that shortly but I kind of go through mine a little quicker than Cody and most people so that's why I like a smaller a smaller draw and a draw through but I'll get mine lit the first few puffs of this Perdomo here um, very very full body um, luckily I'm not on an empty stomach tonight so I shouldn't have a problem um, but it is very, very full, very rich tobacco flavor. Um, you know, I'm a 
let it develop a little bit before I give you all some of the notes that I'm tasting. But right off the bat, man, it's just a bunch of full, rich uh, tobacco. Um, and if you don't know what that tastes like, I guess, <laughs> just pick up any cigar. Because that's how I find most of them start, is just a real nice tobacco flavor. <clears throat> Very nice. As you see over here, I'm kind of getting a lot of leaf on here because of the cap. As I said before, it's kind of why I don't like using it, but we got a good, good start here. I'm getting a like kind of decent tobacco flavor, very nice start of cigar. Would you, would um, you say it's mild or very strong? Very mild. I would mild. say mild. Not, not gonna put you on your butt to start off. So. And as Cody knows, it's kind of my go-to since I am a faster smoker. So, it has been a while since I made a YouTube video, and there's been quite a few reasons. Um, the biggest one is I haven't really had a place to make videos. Um, the last video I made, I think I was on my, at the time, girlfriend's balcony, uh, now my wife. Um, but I was on her balcony, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do with this channel. Um, there were comments to keep the name The Bearded Gentleman, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with that. Um, still going to do the cigar reviews. Still going to smoke pipes. <clears throat> now I bought a house, so now I have somewhere I can come out here and smoke pretty regularly and, and get on the camera and make some videos for YouTube. Um, and maybe provide some entertainment with all the crazy shit that's going on. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to try and get back to making videos. Uh, I got an extra bedroom that I'm going to turn into an office and, and make kind of like a little studio, uh, review whiskey, coffee, things like that. Just the things that I enjoy. Um, I'm going to start putting on camera and documenting and, and uploading to YouTube and, and see where it goes. There's a lot that's happened in my life. Um, good. A lot of good. A lot of good things that have happened and, and now I'm looking forward to continuing on with this YouTube stuff because it's something that I really do enjoy and that I have really missed, honestly. I don't remember my first stick. Oh. I don't remember what it was. Really? Yeah. You remember yours? I remember mine, yeah, absolutely. What was your first stick? Ugh, oh, it was a, <clears throat> I don't remember the price. I remember the store I got it at, the price. Um, it was a Toro Fuente Abrevia. Now, you know, that was a while ago, it was probably senior in high school the my whole reasoning to getting this to smoking is my uh, my my father's big into it he uh, go out you know smoke his stick he got into it when he was in college I started a little about a year earlier because I've just been around it for so long and you know just hanging out with him you know barbecuing got into it and my first stick as I said Toro Fuente uh, Abrevia, it's a real small stick, ranges around, I think four dollars, you know, name brand, the Toro. But um, I remember that was my first real cigar. I do remember one of the first times we like smoked before, before like a real like a cigar was, as you call them, black and spicies. Uh, a black and mild was probably at a, a, a social gathering we went together. That's what I'm kind of start talking about it and I told you I was big into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I'm getting into probably about the middle of the first third here in this Perdomo, I'm picking up more of a like sweetness but not fruit sweet uh, and a little bit of chocolate. Um, more like a, like a dark chocolate than a milk chocolate but I think that might be where some of the sweetness is coming from. For me, I'm not Cody's way more, as I said, I got him into it, but he's way more advanced in in, in, in profiles and notes and flavors. Um, for me, I really judge a cigar off of two things, and it's how it starts, three things, how it starts, and it started off great, nice mild smoke. My second thing I look for is, uh, I'm still, for me, this is still the beginning of the cigar, so I'm still, still getting that nice tobacco taste, you know, still... It's a really good leaf. I don't know how long it's been in the humidor, but it's still nice and tight rolled. But as I said, I go off of 
how it starts. It was a nice smooth start. My uh, second thing I look for is in the middle. When does it start getting bitey or if it stays smooth? And towards the end when I get down to the bottom, do I get that like bad tobacco taste? I, I That is one of my biggest pet peeves. I'm not big into the tobacco taste. Uh, it gets bitey and stuff. That's when I probably put a cigar out. But um, I'll try search for some notes, uh, some taste, see what I get. But uh, honestly, this is this is probably the slowest I've smoked a cigar in a while. So um, we'll see. We'll see where it goes from here. Go back to cigars here. Um, I know it's kind of kind of hard to see, but uh, one of the things that I personally love in a cigar is a nice tight roll. And uh, I don't know if you can see it here. See how long you get the ash. How long you get the ash and what's going on with that. You can see how tight the leaf was round and all the stuff in, inside of it. Um, my dad explained all that kind of stuff. So learning and seeing how, you, how, how long you can ash and what's going on is something I always find fascinating about a cigar and how it's rolled. Well, we're gonna go ahead and smoke these down a little bit and we'll be back with y'all. So, y'all sit tight. All right, so I'm about halfway into the second third here. Flavors have changed up quite a bit. Um, you know, it transitioned from the coffee, chocolate, tobacco taste. Um, now the biggest note that I'm picking up is an earth flavor. What about you? Well, it's having the final third. Um, I was telling you just just recently, I not picking up strong notes. You know, if y'all smoke it and y'all y'all do pick up notes, I'm sorry. I'm just not. My palate's not there. Like I said, my my three things. Leave it in the comments. Yeah, leave in the comments if you've if you smoked it and you you've uh you've picked up notes. Let me know. But um, again, for me, it's how it starts, middle, and the middle honestly was. Nice, smooth, you know, doesn't get bitey. Still almost in the final third here, and still nice, smooth uh, stick. I, I really have no complaints. Yeah, uh, very, very pleased. Chillin' Moose, good stick. So, would you recommend that stick to a beginner? My, oh, I, I would. I would, my only um, yeah, hesitation would be the gauge size. It's a little, 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 little thick for a beginner to pick up, you know. Uh, this gauge is kind of a little on the more intimidating side if you've never, you know, smoked before. And then if you go and guillotine cut it, it's going to leave a big open yeah. end on the cap. So you're going to have a lot of smoke. I, I've been uh, killing it. I, I like having a nice full cloud. After I uh, puff on it, it, makes you feel like you're smoking a decent stick. Which is the Perdomo, on the other hand, I would not recommend to a amateur smoker. Um, I haven't smoked a cigar in quite a while, and this one here is. It, I'm not going to say it's kicking my ass, but it's definitely giving me a little buzz, a little head buzz. It's nice, but I would not give it to somebody who's only had two or three sticks. An amateur smoker. I, I would kind of shy away from this, you know, um, unless for some reason, as an amateur smoker, you really like strong, full-bodied cigars. Because um, that's how I would describe this: very full-bodied in flavor um, and vitamin N. Which, so, if, you're, if you're wondering, go to say it, Rocky Patel. Uh, Vintage 1999 Connecticut wrapper. I think it, the shop I usually go get it at runs around. It's a higher end stick, around 13, 13 dollars. But it's my it's my victory stick, my celebration stick. That'll be a video we do in the future. Is yeah, we each sit down with a stick that we really, really enjoy. That's our go-to stick. Yeah, and yeah, you'll invite me back. If, if you'll have me back. You know, if you don't want to see me, I understand. But uh, it's my go-to stick. So.
kind of getting I'll give you a note here kind of kind of getting a little bitey not terrible that I, I just I just try to fix the burn here a little bit so that's probably what it is yeah the burn on this Perdomo has been Perdomo has been uh, actually really really good I've only put the lighter to it one time since I lit it up and this is pretty damn near razor straight you know what I'm saying so I can't complain about the burn this one again I've had some cigars that really messed up like really bad but uh, this one is not uh, a terrible burn I can get through it um, so but we're running out of battery life on the camera so we're gonna go ahead and uh, close the video out uh, thanks for watching and if y'all want to see George back on the on the video like comment go ahead and subscribe to give yourself something to watch during the quarantine y'all stay safe and uh, you got anything to say thanks for having me again if you want me back if you just want Cody I understand uh, I enjoy this I enjoy smoking with him. Uh, kind of have different tastes, so it's good to you know see what we what we get.